Hello and welcome to our weekly study of Chinese culture. I'm William. Today our speaker is Professor Cui. Professor Cui is an expert on the subject of the Book of Changes. He is also a visiting professor at Tsinghua University. 欢迎大家来到英语国学堂,我是楚志成。我们今天的主讲人是崔教授。崔教授是医学界的著名学者,也是清华大学的客座教授。now let us welcome Professor Cui to talk about the Book of Changes. Hello everybody, and today I want to talk about the eight trigrams and their symbolism. The eighth trigram symbolic rhyme is an easy way to remember the Book of Changes, that is, if you know Chinese. 就像我们做数学题,不也是要记住阿拉伯字母和加减乘除的符号,所以说你记住八卦的表示方法, just like in math, we have to remember the, the various numbers we see and also the um, different uh, signs we see. Just as a, just um, the same with the eight trigrams. We must know, like when we see a trigram, we must know what it represents. Uh, um, everybody can see this, I believe. And right here you can see the eight different phenomena that we've talked about in our last, last session. So as you can see, for example, this this is in the middle line we can see the Chinese characters. In the top line we can see the symbols. So through this we have heaven or sky represented by three yang lines. And at the bottom we have a picture of the sky. <coughs> this is the Chinese character that represents Earth. You can see the Earth is represented uh, in the eight trigrams as three layers of yin. And on the bottom, we can see a picture of Earth. We have Chinese character for thunder or lightning, and then on here we have the symbol for lightning. You can see there's yin, yin, and yang, and on the bottom there we can see lightning bolt. We say We can see over here this is the Chinese character for mountain. Over here, there's one yang and two yin, and then there's the mountain picture. We say the fire, that is, the middle is yin, the upper is yang. We see the fire, that is, the fire in the sky or the other fire. We say it is fire. Over here, we have fire. You can see that the middle is yin, while the two, the up and down parts are both yang. And there you can see a picture of fire that is burning. Water. And you can see that on top we have yin, on bottom we have yin, while inside it's yang. And this is just a drop of water. Zhe就是啊, zhe我们指的就是海洋和天然的湖泊, 
，那么我们表示的方法呢，就是上面为一个阴，下面为两个阳。Over here we have sea or lake. You can see that it's represented by the trigram of one yin on top and two yangs on bottom. 我们说的风啊，就是刮的风。那这个风的话呢，是下面是一个阴，上面是两个阳。Over here we have wind. It's the last one. And you can see it's made of two yangs and one yin. 我讲这个的目的是让大家建立一种概念，就是大概我们天地之间。的八大现象。I'm just giving you a concept over here, so you can sort of know what these are represented by. 你刚一接入易经的符号的表示方法，你觉得很神奇，不好记忆。我们为了能够使大家好记忆，我们呢看下面的图啊。You might think that at first you see these symbols like, how am I supposed to remember all of this? Well, then we'll show you an easier way to remember them. 也就是说呢，我们呢，就是因为八卦是用这种阴阳的象来表示的。我们说，为了让你好记忆啊，特别对于中国人，我们说八卦取象歌会有助于你记住八个符号。Over here we can see the、um, the eight trigrams as listed. There's a there's a Chinese rhyme rhyme which can help you remember these things. 所谓前三连，前就是天。我们说表示天的方法是三个阳的杠来表示。Over here, this this phrase means that the heavens is made of three connected lines. 三个阳连在连在一起了，我们是表示前，也就是天，所以我们才叫做前三连。Qian also is、uh, another way of saying heaven or sky, and you can see that these the, there are three connected lines that are represented by yang. Kun 六段啊，也就是说，坤说的就是地。那么，因为呢，它是阴啊，阴呢是断杠，所以呢，三个杠当然就是六个短杠，我们叫坤六段。Kun also represents earth. You can see it in this phrase. It says. That there are six broken lines. You can see there are six broken lines, and there are three layers, each made of a yin, and so this is why it's called Kun Liu Duan. We say Zhen, Zhen, is also the wind, ah, just a different name. So this Zhen, the way, we call Zhen Yang Yu. Over here we have lightning or thunder. Now Zhen, character Zhen, also is just another word for thunder or lightning. 震养鱼也可以理解为啊，就是我们喝水的碗朝上头的一个表示方法。These two characters over here simply means a bowl, a bowl that is facing upwards. And you can see if you could, if you sort of like connect a line along this, it sort of does look like a bowl. 对，它上面是两个阴，下面是一个阳，似乎看起来好像一个碗的形状。You can see that the, the the upper one is broken, the middle one is broken, the down one is a is an unbroken line, it's a connected line, so it's yin, yin, and yang, and it's shaped like a bowl. 如果我们把这个碗啊掉一个个儿翻成一百八十度，我们也可以说呢，就是更复碗了。You can see over here if we simply like. Uh, bring this upside down. We turn one one hundred and eighty degrees. We have mountain, or gen. 更复碗，更也是山啊，就是我们看一个山，一般来说山洞里是空的，就是好像一个碗扣过来。So over here we can see that this mountain is represented by yang, yin, and yin, and then we see that it's an upside down bowl if we draw a line sort of through it. 离中虚啊，离啊，你就可以理解为呢，就是火。We have fire, and this character 离 just simply means fire as well. 那么离中虚呢，中间是一个阴，上下是两个阳。我们说中间是虚的，所以叫离中虚。Over here, you can see that. 
these two characters are simply means that the inside is empty. And you can see over here that this the inside is broken up because it's yin. So it's yang, yin, and yang. 坎如满啊，就是坎，也就是水啊。中间一个阳，两边上下是两个阴。坎 is simply another word for water, and you can see here it's made of of yin, yang, and yin. And this phrase simply means that the inside or the center is full. You can see here it's an unbroken line of yang. 坎中满这个中间呢，为什么说满呢？它没断开。这个阳呢，我们也可以理解为满，是这个意思。The full in here simply means a unbroken, a full line. So we can see that it's represented by yang. 对上缺，这个对啊，也可以理解为泽啊，也就是湖泊、海洋的意思。那么对上缺，对上缺就是上面为阴，下面为两个阳。over here we have the character Dui. Dui is simply another word for sea or lake. You can see that on top we have yin, yang, yang. And this phrase simply means that the top is lacking or the top is broken. Over here we have xun or wind. You can see that it's yang, yang, and yin. The yin here is broken because it says over here that the bottom is broken. We This is a simple way for you to try to remember it. Remember like which how each eight trigram is represented. We can 但是你把它呢，按照它的顺序呢，对于中国人来说呢，是合辙押韵的，所以我们说可以说理解为是歌谣的意思。但是对于外国人来说呢，并不押韵。This uh, is made of, as you can see, that each of these phrases are made of three Chinese characters, and th and uh, this in Chinese it rhymes, but in English it doesn't rhyme. So I mean. Unless you know Chinese, it's not that useful, but you can still sort of understand which each character means. We say, ah, everyone should pay attention. Ah, is These eight trigrams are very important, and you must remember them. This is an emphasis. Emphasis. 今天我们先介绍到这儿，谢谢大家。Thank you all for listening, and see you next time.